Yeah, I played a, a lovely set with Deb yesterday. That was a lot of fun. I got shot to death. That was a good time. My favorite thing about this set and like the development of the character Happy Chaos. I recall when Happy Chaos came out and everybody was like, man, they gave us a bunch of dumpy DLC characters in a row. Didn't they? They're cool, but they're not very good. He's got a gun. Yeah, but like he seems kind of whatever. He's all right. Deb just makes him look really good, right? And then as the set's going on, I look at the chat and the chat's like, they got to get rid of this. They got to nerf this. They got to take get, take away one of his guns. He needs to only have three bullets in the chamber. That character is dastardly, needs to get nerfed, needs to get changed, like all this kind of stuff. And it's just like the amount of people who have no idea what he does, re like really don't understand the things about the character and like the situations that well are just like, you got to nerf this character in the ground. This character is too good. That character, along with a lot of the really strong characters in the game, they're good characters. They're They're quite good, right? Besides him being good, like, I don't know that he has a lot of things that need to be nerfed or changed or adjusted. For, like, first of all, I don't even know that I think he's in the top three or four. I don't think he's better than, like, Nago or Leo or probably even Sol or Mei, maybe, like, I, or Ram. I was laughing about this and Dev brought this up to me, but Happy Chaos is really the antithesis the Twitch chat because nobody in the Twitch chat understands how the character works, right? You really, like, you either have to have played him sometime or played against him for a good amount of time and done some studying to really understand all the situations you get put in. Like most people don't know how to deal with the zoning. You have to understand what to do when they're doing steady aim shot over and over. What to do when you have, they have curse on you and they're just doing fast steady aim, non-clean hit shot over and over. Like what range you can hit a button or the character can do steady aim shot, steady aim shot or the fast shot or whatever, right? Like all those ranges and things are what you have to understand to get close to the character. And I've played a lot of people with Happy Chaos and they cannot get close to the character, okay? Unless I make a mistake, they don't understand how to deal with that. And the zoning is like not the most fucked up part. Like the zoning is good, don't get me wrong. And some characters, the zoning is what owns them. To me, the zoning is like not the hardest part to deal with. For the full screen pressure, there's a mix of two things. You have to do some dash blocking and you also have to do some walking because i think dash blocking the steady aim shot out of block stun is it's really easy to get hit if you cover distance while he's shooting then the moment that he's going to replenish you can challenge by either getting in close enough that he's no longer able to to do it for free or you can get in close enough to challenge that position so he has to fight you or do clone or do something else to get the resource right it gives you a chance then there's the range where the character can do steady aim pressure and then run up and challenge there's a whole new set of rps where you can like challenge early on the character or like swing and like hit him while he's trying to run up and then if he's trying to like hit a button from farther away to keep it tight then you can start back dashing or you can do other stuff if he's running up and hitting a far button to challenge after the plus frames or if he's doing run up 6k or run all the way up close slash or whatever the hell option he's doing after those options situations and those things he's choosing all have different answers then there's like the close-up pressure and then what you have to deal with with the close-up pressure and like when he has gaps in the steady aim shots up close or when the challenge and like each area and position on the screen he has his own set of decisions that you have to think about per thing and it's based on like resources and like what you can challenge with and what range you're at and like rotating your options and all that it's like a lot there's a lot on there and it's hard to practice against it unless you play someone who is really strong with the character or you play the character yourself and you understand those situations because you can't really like lab it without being able to do it i don't think the zoning is like a problem like you get shot sometimes that happens the pressure is good but like you know soul has good challenges on the pressure compared to most characters so that doesn't really matter that much right the big problem in that matchup is his neutral buttons i think his buttons both in neutral and to challenge on defense are excellent a lot of like low profile or low hitting attacks are really strong against soul because of how his far slash and success are he doesn't have really like fast low hitting buttons to challenge he also has a disjointed far slash that pokes against your 2s really well which 2s is what you would want to hit against your 2k or whatever else you're hitting right bullying me with 2s yeah you mean hitting the button bullied i'm getting so bullied by a button existing it's not like a haha -ha, gotcha like it's like these buttons are just good they lead to a bajillion damage and on block is plus a million there's so many times where i like walk back and i'm like that shit's whiffing and i hit 6s and it just beats my 6s late into its active frames and i'm like Okay, and then I look at the chat and the chat's like, they should make it so that he has to use a scope to aim or some shit. And I'm just like, oh, man. this character needs to get changed like this, 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 and this. And it's kind of funny. The, the main thing I dislike is when you're cursed and he whiffs and then he pulls out the gun and shoots you. 
that's the thing that makes me the most mad and i don't even know if i saw anybody complaining about that also but that is the thing that pisses me off the most i hate how fast the reticle catches you when you're cursed this motherfucker has got a 32 percent chance to hit an XCOM, and he's just bang he shoots me i've got 99 percent chance to hit and my shot misses i'm like come on man he missed his button and it's still like fucking tightened on me that fast and i got smoked i hate that shit the understandings i think of most of the characters in the game and like how complex strategies are formed is like not something i expect most people to sit and think about or even care about but happy chaos really requires you to sit and think about that character to play against them it's the same thing like a lot of people were like why does Sagem say that you have to play slow against Nago with Soul? Like, that doesn't make any sense. If you don't do anything, you just lose. And then I watch them all play Hotashi. They all run at Hotashi, and he fucking destroys them by them just mashing their face against them and dying. And they're like, Nago's too hard to kill. And I'm like, okay. If you don't think that that strategy is good, it's probably because you don't know how to play it well. And I think if you think about the matchup, it makes way more sense to do it like that than to try to slug with that character because you will not win slugging with that character in mid-range sage m said you, you're supposed to play slow and then he got thrown a bunch by hotashi in that first game what an idiot like okay but what happened the other 35 games we played what was the score in the in the set we played what's your score against hotashi with your strategy with soul i would love to see that a lot of people they just they run their strategy and if their strategy doesn't work then they're just like well this matchup must be bad and like that is, you know, it's also why people want everybody to get nerfed and everybody they're like mad all the time about character balance. And instead of like considering like, is there a better way to play this or a different way to play this? Even if it's bad, is there a way to optimize your decision making? I think a lot of people think about this. They say this kind of stuff about like happy chaos or soul is another good example. Like you just have to RPS against the character. And if you're wrong, you ate, you eat 80%. And it's like, who says you can't like wait and then choose when to, to take lower risk options that can make you escape the pressure like why do you have to rps against the character against his biggest damage moments constantly and then die and then be like wow soul does a lot of damage you don't have to gamble in that way like you can instead play more conservative and then like choose your spots more carefully and then rps in situations where you have meter or the character's reward for being right is worse or like whatever there's like lots of situations to think about Instead of just like i'm gonna mash stroke or like whatever fast movement oh wait happy cow's bullet hits it character's broken i can't get in the matchup may be hard as fuck like that matchup looks hard as fuck whatever the situation may be it's not like just like oh this one thing doesn't work like oh, i guess it's over also i you know i gotta be honest i've seen a lot and played a lot of the other happy chaos players if you just play recklessly and challenge a lot against other happy chaos players they always fuck up and make mistakes and then you can just take advantage of that their neutral is not as good or they're they don't shoot as fast or both deb is built different you think you think dealing with all the other happy chaos players is rough you haven't even you haven't fought somebody who is like really fucking nose gun foo Listen. we're in like texas showdown which was like happening in like i don't know houston or something right and there was like a hurricane in dallas and rip was like we should drive into the hurricane he was like i want to see what it's like like it's like hurricane chasers and i was like dude you've never been in a hurricane that doesn't need to change you know you can go your life without being in a hurricane that's some kind of white people shit that i'm not trying to do you know i'm not from a place where there are hurricanes it's not a natural disaster that i'm prepared to handle if it was an earthquake you know no problem dying looks kind of cool i've never tried it yeah that was the plan he was like what if now hear me out <laughs>